Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this confetti and marbled wedding cake. To start off, we have a 7 inch cake and I'm applying some buttercream on top. This is regular vanilla buttercream and I've just added some uh, ganache to the mix. Creating a crumb coat on the outside of my cake. This is a thin layer of frosting used to trap in the moisture and to also trap in any crumbs on your cake. Clear up the top by bringing that lip of frosting to the center and allow it to rest in your fridge for at least 10 to 15 minutes before you apply the final coat. This is vanilla buttercream again, this time with no chocolate added. And I'm adding at the very top, making sure it's nice and flat, and then creating a very thick layer around the outside of my cake. Using a bench scraper to scrape down the excess. Fill in any spots where they're a little bit empty and then keep going around slowly to smooth it down completely. Then again taking my spatula and bringing that lip of frosting to the centre. Let your cake rest in the fridge for at least 20 minutes and in the meantime I'll get started on my 5 inch top tier and also my 9 inch bottom tier. All following the exact same steps. With some white baker um, fondant by Bakehouse just rolling it out into a sausage and also rolling out a grey and a black strip as well. Combining those, rolling them into a log and then giving them a twist. Folding it in on itself and then I'm also kneading it because I want that marbled look to be a little bit more unique. And this way it creates a lot more um, kind of texture in your marble. I actually kept going after this. Um, so it was predominantly grey with little pieces of white coming through. Roll it out to about 3mm in thickness, then drape it over your cake. Make sure the very top edge is secured on your cake so it doesn't rip. And then undo those pleats by pulling them apart and massaging the fondant onto your cake. Follow this step all the way down to the bottom. Then I'm using my fondant smoother to attach the very bottom to the base of the cake and cutting off the excess with a spatula. You can knead that back into a separate piece of fondant um, for your next cake and add in all the other colours as you need. And I'm just smoothing out the edges by circular motions, kind of clapping the two um, smoothers together to get the sharp edges, and then also around the outside and top of my cake. This is a 7 inch cake. This tier I've uh, covered in like a yellow orange um, fondant, and now I'm applying piping gel to the outside and the top as well. I'm adding the piping gel because it's a really really good glue to use when adding confetti or things onto the side of your fondant cake. And Then I've hovered it over a bowl nice and large so it gets all the um, drop off and this edible confetti is just being pressed into the side of the cake and I'm sort of maneuvering it up towards the very top as well. Make sure it's completely covered all the way up to the edge and then add some at the very top and with your hand just push them to the sides and kind of press in as well to make sure they're securely on there. The edges are usually the problem areas so you might need to go over those a couple of times. Now do yourself a favour and allow this to rest overnight if you can. That way they don't move around. The um, Piping gel is nice and set and you can paint in very easily without them moving around or falling off. That was just some Champagne Gold by Creative Cake Decorating. It's an edible luster dust that I've mixed with alcohol. This uh, creates a really nice edible paint and I'm literally just dabbing it all over my cake and colouring in those confetti. in the top as well and I've left a little piece in the very middle blank um, because that's going to be covered by the cake afterwards so you don't really need to waste that um, precious and awesome paint in the very center. Then apply your cakes onto each other. Make sure that there are dowels uh, underneath layers. Dowels are there to support the weight of the top cake. I used uh, five dowels for the bottom cake and then three dowels in the middle cake. This is some ribbon that I'm attaching with some double sided adhesive. And just sticking the ribbon to the ribbon. And 
And as a very final touch, I've taken some of that paint and a very thin paintbrush and just painting in details on the cake. You can try to follow the marbled effect. Um, my one was pretty heavily marbled, so while there is um, lines in there, it's a little bit hard to see. You can create your own lines instead. This was a little bit more of an abstract kind of design that I went with. And do the exact same for your top tier as well. It helps to work with a thicker paint as well so you can see it a lot more clearly. And you're done. And that is how you make a very fun and sweet three-tier engagement cake or a wedding cake using the confetti effect and also the marble fondant. Happy 2018 everybody! Welcome back to Rosie's Dessert Spot. It's been an awesome two-week break and I am more than ready and itching to get back into starting the cake decorating side of things. I hope this one here came in handy for you guys and you enjoyed it. I know I definitely did enjoy making it. And if you do try something like this, send me some photos. I love to see your cake creations as well. Thank you again for tuning in and I'll catch you again next week.